This video was made possible by Squarespace. Build your website for 10% off at squarespace.com forward slash Nick Zamedi. So, today I thought we would make something funky. Blue steel. So, I reckon this project is going to be pretty cool. And I'm going to be using these. Yep, little bullet shell casings. Now, there's loads of these about. I got these off of eBay. I bet you never guessed that. Um, and I thought we would try to make some kind of really cool Zemetti pendants so using maybe some burr and some resin and obviously the bullet casing so i've got a little idea i don't know if it's going to work or not as always but guess what we're about to find about to find we're about to find out okay so we've got our bullet casing here which i got off ebay like i said and i've got these little pieces of burr which i got off of uh, I think I got these off of eBay as well, actually, <laughs> I think. But we're only going to need a little slithering of this. But we want to kind of try to capture a little piece of this with a bit of resin in there as well. And the idea is to try to get it inserted into this shell casing, if we can. I say I'm not too sure how this is going to work, but even if it is going to work, I don't really know. Um, but um, I think this is what we need to do is chop this off of here first. So we've got ourselves a bit of room to play with. So what I've done here is I've cut up a few more bits and pieces here off camera um, and I've just stuck them all in just random places. I've never really sort of done anything like this before. I know lots of people have, but um, I haven't. <laughs> so um, I wanted to sort of like kind of like see the different effects of how this is going to work. Now I'm using this pen blank mould, which will work perfectly for this um, project. Um, because obviously when, what we do is when we seal these up into resin and then we put these on the lathe we're going to be turning these to fit inside the pendants uh sorry inside the bullet shells um, and i'm not too sure whether or not we're going to lose some of the effects because of the wood and i want to try and see if we can capture some of the burr like uh live edge uh which would look nice but obviously these are really tiny shells so i don't know how that's going to really work uh it might be too small these shells might be too small um, we may end up not sort of losing a lot of the effects. I don't know. We'll have to see. But what we need to do now is mix up some funky resin. Yeah, baby, yeah! We're going to use some funky Illumilite colours for these. I haven't used these before. We've got some really cool orange, yellows, greens and pink. That 
certainly looks a little bit funky. I'm gonna go with a bit of orange. Looks like we've been slimed by Slimer. <laughs> so, for this last one, what I'm going to do is use a bit of purple <laughs> happy days i love purple tell you what i tend to find with these illuminites they're pretty cool but they don't come out of these bottles <laughs> very easily um you have to really squeeze quite hard i don't know if i'm doing anything wrong but i mean th there's a hole in there but they just don't seem to come out very easily i don't want to apply too much pressure because i did that before and um the lid popped off <laughs> Yeah, there like that, there we go. Look at that. How cool does that look? That's awesome. I love how this, when this goes in, I think that's gonna be too much now, it's gonna be too dark, isn't it? I put way too much in there. I don't know if can leave it like that, actually, without mixing it in, because I've put way too much in there. Let's put a bit more clear resin on top and see if we can just maybe make something weird out of that. I think that's going to be dark now though. It might work. That is dark. So I've got a bit of resin left over, uh, a bit of purple, a bit of green, orange. Uh, yellow and bits and pieces so and I've got one more mold left should have a few more molds really but I don't I have to invest and get a few more molds I think anyone got any spare molds please send them down <laughs> um, so I thought we'd have another little experiment here where we'll, we'll put a few of these colors in probably not going to use too much of the purple because I think that might destroy it so I'm going to put a little bit of wood in this burr We'll just mix and match it. Actually, we'll put this piece in so it looks a bit more favourable. And actually, I'll put that one in. Maybe like that. I don't know. Hopefully, that will work. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, mix this up a bit. So put a bit of put that in there. Put a dab out of the purple in there, and then some yellow. Maybe a bit of the pink. And then maybe a little bit more of the purple. How's that? <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see how that turns out, eh? Okay, so we just leave that overnight and hope for the best.
we have a mixture of blanks that we've made uh, for this project. So there's a few here. Let's have a look. All we need is six. We're going to make six pendants and we've got some cool colours. Let's do this. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to put this one on. This one I got from Record Power and uh, the blanks will sit inside here quite nicely when we open this badger up. So this will work quite well for this project I think. Although I'm only going to be able to use one end. So out of all that blank I'm only going to be able to use, there we go, happy days. Uh, we're just going to shape this one because then it's not going to leave us much to do the other one with. So we need to pick the best end to do this. So let's see how we get on. Ah, not sure what happened there. Must have got caught and smashed my blank. <laughs> so <laughs> it's ripped it to pieces, but I don't know why it would have done that. But um, I don't know. See if we can make do with just this bit, if we can shape this up, but a uh, bit of a shame because that was quite a cool end to that. I don't know where that went now. No idea. It flew off. But just to let you know, I am wearing a face mask. Okay, this is not going well. So this just snapped off. So I'm gonna have to finish this by hand. Great. We have sanded this down, hand sanded, and that wasn't pleasant. <laughs> it took me a little while. Because we had a bit of an issue where this uh, popped off. Normally I would have sanded it uh, on the lathe, but I had to do it all hand sanding. So, and I've got this ready uh, to go inside the bullet casing. So, um, we're going to polish this up, obviously. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the other four, five. Can't remember now how many we've done, um, and then we're going to polish them all together. So, we have got this one up in the lathe, um, as you can see. See if we can make something funky from this. I reckon this one will look quite cool. I like the, I do like the pink in there, um, and then maybe we can try and get a piece of that through. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Hopefully, this one won't snap. We just have to be really careful. I think it's just basically being really gentle with it. Otherwise, it will snap. We don't want that. Right, let's do this. <laughs> So this is what we have so far, that worked out okay. Now I did bring the tail stock up for this one, I know a lot of you would be saying why didn't you do that before? Well <laughs> simply because it leaves a little bit of a hole in there and I didn't really want to leave that hole. I've tried to sort of sand it out off but you can still see it and this is very weak, um, it's because it's not really set completely yet and it will take another sort of 48 hours probably to set you know, solid, it will go solid. Um, so I've got a little bit of a hole there, which yeah, it's okay, I suppose, but I didn't really want that, um, and I can't really get it off because it will just snap. Um, I've sanded it back a bit anyway, but anyway, that's that's good enough. I've gone back to 400 grit. That looks really nice actually, and we we can bring this up and we can make another one of these later on. So I'm going to put some um, sanding sealer on this now, and then a bit of uh, Yorkshire grit, and then. Uh, that would do until we put it on the buffing wheel.
absolutely awesome for a little job like this. There's this one, this one, and this one. And I bought them because I like the colours. You can't really use them for big projects, but for eeny weeny ones like this, they're awesome. Nice! Woohoo! <laughs> that is quite cool. I like that. See, that's the sort of effect that I was kind of like hoping for, really. We've got a bit of wood in there, and you can just about see a little bit of that wood inside there. Not a lot, but it's still going to have a quite a cool effect, that one. Nice bit of wood running through, and then a bit of resin. So, um, I haven't gone down too far on this yet. What I've done is I've done the sanding first, because I don't want to make this too weak. Um, if I bring this down really small to fit inside the casing, um, it's going to make this weak to sand and finish. So I've done that finishing first, now I'm going to go back to make this the right size. So I've got this one left, no I haven't, I've got two left, but this one we're going to make do something slightly different, I think I'm going to make it kind of like square edges, well roundish and square, does that make sense? I'm going to square it off a little bit, just to make it look a bit weird. I think I've got a bit of resin shavings in my ear. So I've had to hand sand these. So I've had to hand sand these because I can't really do this on the lathe. So, but I've sort of chopped them up a bit just to make them look a bit weird, a bit different. Rather, because we've got three, four roundy ones, uh, and these ones are kind of a bit like, a bit like Superman's shard. Seen that film? Uh, so I've had to hand sand these back. I didn't do that on camera because I thought that would be pretty boring. So what we're going to do now is going to buff these all up in the buffing wheel. Then we can finish these badgers. What do you reckon? 
little bit funky. I actually kind of like these. They look quite cool. You can obviously change, uh, you know, the, the necklace bit. I just kind of picked those colours, but you can have more black, really. I think maybe black might be a better option. Um, but hey, who knows? You might like the colours. And these come out quite well. I mean, this one's quite nice. The, the green one that we did. And I've got the burr in there, which is quite cool. Uh, we've got the pink one. That's quite nice. I like that one. The purple one um, was well, just purple. <laughs> and, you know, it captured a bit of the wood in there as well, which is all right. So it looks like a flute, doesn't it? And um, we got these other little ones, which I didn't do on the lathe. And another one here as well. I like this one, actually. Yeah, I think that one's probably my favourite. If I was going to choose one. So I hope you like that. A uh, little bit different for you. And, uh, yeah, I shall probably give a couple of these away. Probably put a couple on my website as well if you're interested. Now, I did try and find a way to try to sort of, like, get my name in here. I wanted to really brand these and, you know, put my name in there or something because it would be nice. But uh, I kind of did do a test run using my Dremel um, to try and sort of, like, etch my name in there. Um, but that didn't really work out very well. I sort of did that off camera to sort of see if it worked out and then I was going to sort of show you how I did it. But so I don't really know whether or not there's any other way of some way of getting my name in there. But the Dremel, this is really cool. And I had this little uh, thing on the end there, um, little carving thing. Um, it is actually a pretty cool bit of kit. But actually, it's really important that you know that when you turn this on, that... So just remember that when you use this, because that is really, really important. I will try to find a way to put my name, emblem, or something into there. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to or not. But I'll give it a bash. If any of you guys know of a way to try to etch into a bullet, I was thinking of using my CNC machine. But again, I'm still not very familiar with it. I am still trying to learn it. And I think if I can get this fixed, this bullet, fixed inside a piece of wood and then maybe set up my name, I should be able to etch my name into that. That's the way I was thinking, but I didn't really have the time to actually do that, but also I don't actually know how to do that either. <laughs> that would help. So if I do manage to get around to doing that, I'll put my name in there. It's pretty cold. So, just want to say thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And if you don't know who Squarespace are, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Squarespace empowers millions of dreamers, makers, and doers by providing them with the tools they need to bring their creative ideas to life. <laughs> These guys have award-winning templates, which means creating your website is a whole lot easier. And we like easy. These guys will also provide you with 24 seven support if you need it. If you've already got a domain and a website, you can transfer that domain over to Squarespace. Easy peasy. So if you're looking at a website, you've got to check these guys out because setting up a website just couldn't be easier with these guys. So all you have to do is check out the link below. That's www.squarespace.com forward slash Nick Zemeli. And once you've gone over there and built your website and you're ready to launch, you get 10% off your first purchase. You've got to use my link though. So why not give it a bash? These guys are a great sponsor to have, so please check them out. Also, by checking them out, you'll be helping support me and my channel. Cheers guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed yourselves today and I hope that you do come back soon. I've got tons and tons of stuff coming and some really funky stuff. You're going to love it. You rock. Well, I hope you will anyway. Don't forget to check out Makers Central. We are weeks and weeks away from this show. It's going to be epic. Loads of stuff going on there. We've just added so many other things there. So go and check out the website there as well. I think we've only got about 10 stools left. And then the whole place is going to be sold out for exhibitors. Happy days! <laughs> it's going to be a great place to bring your family along. Kids and everyone can come to this show. It's going to be seriously cool. All the links for that are below as well. So grab a ticket. I'd love to see you there. Right, 
I think we're done here. Happy weekend. Have a great weekend. Have a good one, guys. Take care, and I'll see you soon.